606 turning to the Trump presidency this morning. It's been surprisingly quiet in North Korea after leader Kim Jong-un promised a Christmas gift for the United States. President Trump was not taking any chances, though. As CBS 4's Mark Liverman explains, the commander-in-chief ordered surveillance planes to fly over the Korean peninsula. In North Korea, Christmas came and went without a gift for the United States. The communist nation had promised one earlier this month. It was widely expected to be a ballistic missile or nuclear weapons test. We'll find out what the surprise is and we'll deal with it very successfully. President Trump had brushed off the threat on Christmas Eve. Maybe it's a present where he sends me a beautiful vase as opposed to a missile test. The U.S. apparently wasn't taking any chances. South Korean media reports four American surveillance planes flew over the Korean peninsula. Pyongyang has also threatened to take unspecified action if U.S. sanctions are not eased by the end of the year. Recent satellite images show a new structure, believed to be for manufacturing mobile launchers for long-range missiles. More than 28,000 U.S. troops are stationed in South Korea. We understand that Korea is a demand and assignment. But they still found time to celebrate the holidays. And the mill was actually really great because it reminded me of things that were being made back home. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un is expected to deliver a national address on New Year's Day. Mark Liverman, CBS News.